Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. This time we turn our attention to the upcoming Veteran World Championships that will be taking place in Athens, Greece, October 12th through the 18th. And joining us here today, the team leader of Team USA Veteran Worlds is Mark Goldman. Mark, how are you? Good, Scott. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited about the formation of this team, the total number of competitors that are going to be making the trip to Athens. Generally speaking, how many folks, uh, how many competitors do you have on any given world team? Oh, over the past two years, we have, we've had between 30 and 35. Why uh, are there so many in this particular, as you, last I heard, there's 85 athletes. Uh, we have between 75 and 80. A few people have dropped out for different reasons. But, uh, yes, we have Chris Brown and myself have been working very hard since the Veterans Nationals in Las Vegas to contact everybody and anybody um, that is 35 or over that has wrestled before to get them involved. Let's talk a little bit about some of the competitors. They range in age from what to what? They range in age from 35 to 70. 35 to 70. So obviously it's going to be different age groups. Is there a 35 to 40-year-old age group? Yes, there is. Okay, so that's Division A? That's Division A. All right. And and let's uh, let's be frank about this. This aren't just a bunch of guys getting together to wrestle around. This is serious. There are countries that take the Veteran World Championships exceedingly serious. Yes, it is. Uh, the We have 50 countries that usually show up with up to 500 wrestlers. And, and those 500 wrestlers are top wrestlers from their countries. They are ex national champions, uh, Olympians. This is not a pushover tournament. This is a, a full-blown world championship. Now, when you talk about uh, the countries that are competing, who are some of the strong countries that are competing? And then we'll get to uh, talk about some of the competitors for Team USA. Uh, over the past couple years, Team USA, with 30 people, has finished third both years. And uh, Russia and Iran have been our, our major adversar adversaries. Not enemies, but adversaries. Adversaries, not mm -hmm. enemies by any means. Now, I know that you and Chris Brown have been working really hard to put together a, a great team that can win the Veteran World Championships in Athens. Who are some of those that are on the team that are going to make a difference? Well, we have several returning world champions, and um, and those that are coming back this year are Shirzad Armadi, who is a 10-time world champion. He's, he's been in every Veterans World Championship since the beginning. Uh, we have my son, Jason Goldman, who uh, is a world champion in freestyle free in 2013 and silver medalist uh, the, in, in Greco, um, both 2013 and, 20, and 2014. We have... Uh, uh, James Kasser, who is a big-time international wrestler, he has um, he wrestles for the police and he wrestles in the police and fire um, worlds, and he's a multiple-time world champion. And uh, Steve Turgeon uh, is another one. We also, for the first time this year, have um, women going with us. This is the first year that there will be a women's veterans and. Unfortunately, due to the fact that there aren't that many women that have been involved in uh, in wrestling uh, at older ages, uh, we only have three. But Megan Marcello, uh, Leanne Marcus, and Marie Ziegler are three that are going with us this year. There are many more that would like to but haven't become uh, of age yet, of 35 yet. And there's also some financial considerations to take into to, uh, account. I mean, it, every athlete is responsible for his own way. Is that correct? That's correct. And it runs, it, it is, we've lost a couple guys this year. Uh, Mark Marshall, who was, gonna, who was going to go with us, and hopefully he's going to be able to turn it around. He, um, he couldn't raise the funds that he needed to. Um, most every veteran... 
and I'd say at least 90% of them don't have funds out of their own pockets to go to this. So they have to do fundraisers. And it costs about $3,000 a person to go to the, the world championship right. for air, air travel and then to pay a daily fee that we have to pay for hotel, food, transportation, and entry into the tournament. I know your son, Jason Goldman, has been doing T-shirt, T-shirt sales, raising some funds that way, and that's been pretty effective. Others are going online and doing a, a fund me or uh, a variety of different online fundraising efforts, which is kind of neat. Uh, but you have guys that, you know, they actually bank on this. They save for this each and every year because, and they train for it each and every year. They can't get it out of their system. That's right. Every one of, every one of the 30 guys that have gone in the past two years are obsessive wrestlers. They have been wrestling for 30, 40 plus years and they are really good at the sport and besides that uh, when they're not wrestling on the mat they are they are coaches and mentors to youth on up to seniors we're talking and, we're talking with mark goldman he is the team leader for team usa veteran world championship squad that'll be heading to athens greece for action for competition october 12th through the 18th an outstanding opportunity for uh, wrestlers, senior level wrestlers to compete. And I got to tell you, it's going to be exciting and exciting for sure. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I do want to mention that there are 13 world champs, 52 medalists, and some finishing in third uh, behind Russia and Iran. So they've been your competitors. Russia and Iran have been your competitors that uh, you're looking to beat. And this perhaps gives us the best opportunity, the best team uh, for the last several years, I'll give you an opportunity to do just that, to beat everybody else. That's our plan, Scott. You have Derek Waltrip involved as well, right? Yes. Uh, actually, there are. Uh, there's one returning world champion who isn't coming to wrestle. He has. He's paying his own way, and he's coming to coach. Uh, that's Terry Harris. We have Derek Waltrip. Derek Waltrip. Well who's an Olympian, who's coming to coach. And we also have uh, a, uh, Mike Schauer and Brandon Parker. All four of these coaches um, aren't being paid to do this. They're all coming on their own because they either pretty much they, they know the team or they know somebody on the team, and they're just interested in coming and coaching. Now let's talk a bit about USA Wrestling. Uh, understandably, this is a UWW event, uh, but USA Wrestling, I'm sure, is behind you guys and uh, doing what they can. What What is USA Wrestling's involvement in this event with your team? Uh, USA Wrestling um, sends out applications to people who are interested, and they create the uh, the lineup and provide that to... Um, whatever country we're going to, along with um, all the information on on passports and um, arrival and departure times so that the delegations can meet us at the airport. And, um, and basically, that's the entry list into the tournament. Okay, what about promotion? Do they promote? Do they do, they do live streams? I'm not sure exactly what... USA, I mean, USA Wrestling has done a great job with the kids and the, uh, the junior and senior level stuff as far as, um, you know, they just did a phenomenal job with the, the world championships, for example. Unfortunately, uh, that's where most of the, the focus is with USA Wrestling. It's on youth up through Olympics. Oh, okay. Uh, the veterans, they help us out to the extent of, of um, providing... Uh, team leader myself, um, and basically that's it. Um, they they do all the paperwork and everything that's necessary. Uh, the guys can order their warm ups. The warm ups that they order again is out of their pocket. Okay. Uh, so you know that that's all part of the three thousand dollars that they need to go to the world championships. Oh, it'd be neat if. Um... They'd get the same kind of... Wouldn't it be great if they had the same uniforms and everything, that they would just get team uniforms from Team USA and ASICs and those guys? 
But, you know, the, the future looks bright for sure, and especially with uh, top-level performances. You guys have finished third the last couple of years. I, I can imagine if you finished uh, first, perhaps we'll, uh, people will be sitting up and taking notice. Uh, and that's our goal, right, Mark? That's our plan. This year we are going to do it. We've got the team, and everybody's excited about going. Well, so you wrestling fans, stand by. Uh, the vets are planning on rocking the USAW, UWW, and the world by doing some things that nobody has done before. They're going to be competing in Athens, Greece, going to the very home of the Olympics, the birthplace of the Olympics. It'll be Athens, Greece, October 12th through the 18th. Some 75 to 85 athletes will be in competition, both men and women, on uh, those special days in Athens. And what a place to visit. What a place to compete in the sport of wrestling. If you'd like more information, we invite you to visit the overall website. It's unitedworldwrestling.org. If, in fact, there are streaming or will be streaming, and I believe there will be, of the event, uh, you'll get, you're going to find more information there at unitedworldwrestling.org. Is there a website for our Veterans uh, World Championship team or a Facebook page? There's a Facebook page. It's USA Wrestling Veterans Plus 35. USA Veterans Plus 35. USA Veterans Plus 35 on Facebook. Make sure you're a friend. Make sure you follow along. These people have dreams. They have hopes. They have aspirations. And with your help, they'll be able to realize some of those on behalf of the United States of America. Our guest in the Nike hot seat today, it's been a pleasure, Mark. In the spirit of the sport, Always a tremendous coach, a tremendous uh, a fan of the sport. You've done so much and continue to do so. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you giving us the time. Well, for all of us at Takedown, we're not just following. We're helping to promote it, and you can too. Tell your friends about the Veteran World Championships coming up in Athens, Greece, October 12th through the 18th. <laughs>